Hello, it's me again, the Cursing Seamstress. Um, I have a few things today. This will be fairly short. Um, but um, the first thing is a thrifting items. I um, went to Habitat for Humanity in the town, which is right next to me, um, 20 minutes away. And they, um, they do have fabric there. Usually it's not great fabric. Um, a lot of times the fabric they have is really old, um, the old timey um, double knit polyester kind of stuff. Some of it's really not, not worth buying or selling. But um, last week when I went, they had this fabric and it was just so cute. And I measured it, it came in two pieces. One piece is I think three and a half yards and the other piece is two and a half yards. I got both pieces for a total of $2.50. And this is it. It is um, a black background with red and kind of purplish lips on it. It is a cotton. Um, I don't think there's polyester in this, but it's just really, really cute. Um, and this would make a good dress, um, like the dress I showed you before with the fish on it, the empire waist that was too small for me that my daughter was able to wear. It's, it's the perfect weight and type of fabric for, for that. So um, that was what I was thinking about making with it. I think there's enough here to do it. Um, the skirt piece has to be cut on the bias, but I think I need to just lay it all out. And if I make it for myself, I'm gonna to have to make it bigger than what I made it before. So I was really excited about that. I like that fabric. I was over there again today and I bought just a little, I didn't, I don't have it here to show you, but just a little piece. It was all, their fabric is always 50% um, off. And so the piece I found was a purple piece that I thought I could use for quilting and it was 25 cents, so I paid 25 cents rather than 12.5 cents. So I didn't know how to do that math. So, um, and anyway, it's for a good cause. So it was um, a quarter for that. The next thing I, um, if you all have never heard of the sewing report, and I think that's how it's listed on YouTube, the sewing report, it's by a woman named Jennifer, and I can't remember Jennifer's last name, but she, um, she really does a good job. She lives um, outside of Atlanta, Georgia, and um, the Sewing Report's a really good name because she keeps you up to date on sewing news, and that's where I heard that um, the Vogue and McCall's Butterick people bought the Simplicity line, um, otherwise, I don't know. It would have taken me a while to have heard that, I think. She had on her channel a de-stashing uh, through Instagram. Um, and all you had to do was to comment and say that you wanted this uh, particular a bundle. She had several bundles that she was selling. And, uh, and I did so. And the only thing she was asking was the cost of mailing. Um, so for $5, um, I was able to get one of the bundles and it was just so well worth it. Um, I'll show you what was included in, in this particular bundle. Um, it was five patterns, some fabric, and I think that's it. Let me show you the fabric first. This fabric is wonderful. I don't know if this is a cotton lawn it is this pretty much the same weight as the fabric I just sh showed you. It's, um, it's lightweight, but it's not really, it's not see-through. This would work for a dress or a blouse. And it's adorable. It, it's got arrows on it, but I don't know if you can see in the arrows, but there's writing in there, like newspaper or writing from a book some type of uh, print kind of mixed in and it's a um it's a bluish it's like an aqua color i guess with uh grays on it but it's just it's so pretty 
and I think there's probably two yards of this here. So I don't know what I'm going to make with it. Um, something. Let's see if I can read what this fabric is so you'll know. This is um, artgallerifabrics.com and um, it's 100% it's premium cotton and it says feel the difference. Um, Katarina Rochella, R-O-C-C-E-L-L-A. That's the designer. But again, that's it. Um, it's just, it's really pretty. So I can't wait to find something to do. The fabric alone was worth that $5. But included too, she threw this in. A little writing pad, a pink pen, and this looks like some kind of tape. I'm not sure, I have not opened this up. But um, I thought that was very nice of Jennifer to do this and um, I thought it was real sweet and just a great offer. I'll just run through these patterns quickly. Um, I had a doctor's appointment yesterday and I took this, I checked the mail and it had come in the mail so I just took it with me and sat in the doctor's office and um, opened up all these patterns and kind of read and, and looked at the, um, the um, instructions for all of them. This is a butter rick. It is um, B6479. This is for a knit fabric. And there's like this overlay um, across the shoulders. Long sleeve version, short sleeve uh, version. It's kind of a bat wing for the, for the, for the longer sleeved or the longer drape. Um, and underneath it's just really just a, a sheath. You could, I think, make it um, without that overlay thing, but um, it's pretty. This one is a jacket, and this is Butterick 57, I'm sorry, uh, it's a, a CNSO B6120. It's a simple jacket. There is some tailoring um, to it. It looks really boxy on here, but if you look at the line art, you'll see that there are some seams um, semi princess kind of seams on there um, that do give it a little bit of form. Um, so I think it's kind of cute. And that's that one. This is a Butterick 5710. I think this one is, this is for wovens. Um, this would work for the two fabrics that I just um, showed you. Um, I would go for the shorter version. I would have no occasion to wear a long version too. It has a drape um, neck on there and um, it's pretty. I like it. Um, again, this would be the one that I would elect to make. Um, I, again, I would not have any reason to wear anything like that, but um, this is in sizes 6 through 14. So, next is McCall's M7329. This is for a skirt, and they're in various lengths. Um, again, the only one that I could think that I would wear would be the shorter version. Um, this is for taffeta satin, shantung, cotton blends, um, I'll show you the line art on the back. Actually, I mean, I guess I could, would wear, I wouldn't wear the, I'm not a big fan of the high-low thing, so I guess I could see myself wearing a long version if it were um, in just a plain old, um, you know, lightweight cotton or something like that. I, I would um, with some sandals or something. So it's actually very pretty. And those are, um, this is in sizes 6 through 14. Next is M7355. This is a pattern for some formal wear. Can you see that? Okay, yeah. It's for a crop top and a skirt in different lengths. The line art is there. Um, 
I don't know. This is also sizes 6 through 14. Um, this is a fitted lined top. And um, it says that it's for medium weight woven fabrics. Um, it's very pretty. Again, I don't do, you know, formal events or anything, but I don't know, this might work for my daughter, um, the crop top kind of thing, but it's very pretty. I like it a lot. So I think that's everything. Um, I appreciate your watching. Um, I still want to do a video on the, um, stuff that I got from uh, someone on an online yard sale, um, a brother, serger, and a bunch of fabric um, for $200. And I really just need to pull the serger out. It's still in the box in my garage and uh, at least test it out and, and maybe test it out while you watch. Um, so that's all I have. I appreciate your watching and uh, I'll see you back in a week or so for another video. Bye-bye.